Tonight, for the future of everything, we're going back three billion years into the past. Picture Mars as a world with water. According to NASA, oceans covered as much as 20% of the red planet. So where did all that water go? Scientists thought that when Mars lost its atmosphere, most of the surface water escaped into space, slowly evaporating away over billions of years. But new evidence suggests there's still some left underground. Findings released this week in the National Academy of Sciences say a hidden ocean could be trapped up to 12 miles deep. Scientists behind the discovery say it is the best evidence yet of liquid water on Mars. Joining me now is Dr. Paul Sutter. He is an astrophysicist, NASA advisor, and, a, and author of How to Die in Space, A Journey Through Dangerous Astrophysical Phenomena. Dr. Sutter, thanks for joining us tonight. Tell us how scientists made this discovery, and if there is a hidden ocean inside Mars, what's going on down there? Oh, yes, this is such a wonderful discovery and shows that Mars, our nearest neighbor planet, still has so many surprises in store for us. And the scientists behind this study discovered this underground reservoir of water by using seismic data on NASA's InSight lander, which actually uh, decommissioned last year because its solar panels got covered up with dust. But they were uh, going through the archives of data, looking at uh, seismic motions of Mars quakes and using that to understand what's happening deep under the surface, exactly how we use seismic data to understand what's happening underneath the crust of the Earth. Okay, and so to put some of this in perspective, the deepest hole ever dug on Earth is a little over seven miles. What kind of technology would be needed to even find this hidden ocean that could be up to 12 miles deep? Yes, uh, so this hidden ocean, I don't want you to think of it like some giant uh, vat or underground reservoir. Instead, it's it's little bits of water tucked here and there in, inside of cracks and fissures inside of the rock. But there is so much of it spread throughout so much of the underground of Mars that if it was put on the surface of Mars, it would cover the entire planet up to a mile deep. And so to find this, we to actually sample this and study this, we would need to dig very, very deeply. Like you mentioned, the deepest boreholes on Earth are seven miles deep. The deepest we've been able to dig into the surface of Mars is, is one foot. So that shows just how hard it is to transport technology that we're used to here on Earth over to Mars, which sits over 150 million miles away. Yeah, we got a long way to go there. Uh, what are the implications here for our understanding of both the past and future of Mars? Yeah, this is where it gets really exciting because we are so interested in liquid water because life as we know it requires liquid water. And where we find liquid water outside of the Earth, we can find a potential, not guaranteed, but a potential home for life. And we know there is underground water, very similar underground water on the Earth. We know there are living creatures, microbes living miles under the surface here on Earth right now. And we have the exact same conditions underneath the surface of Mars. This could be a surprising home for Martian life. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.